when you're approaching a patient with a newly diagnosed follicular lymphoma, it's important to look at many different characteristics, and make basically the characteristics of the tumor as well as the characteristics of the patient. Um, many of the current options that are available for treatments, including lenalidomide, CHOP, bendamustine, single agent rituximab, um, have different side effect profiles. So when you're looking at a patient for the first time, you really want to look at things like, does the patient have coexisting heart disease, coexisting diabetes? Does the patient have a bulky tumor that looks like it's potentially progressing? Those kind of factors should play in your, into your decision when deciding what's the best frontline regimen. For example, if a patient has a large tumor burden and has a high SUV on PET, or pathology suggests the patient may be in the process of transformation, CHOP would be the most likely, or I think one of the things that you should consider. Um, the difference between bendamustine and rituximab, and rituximab plus lenalidomide, I think uh, is kind of a trade-off on side effects. I think both of them should work quite well in patients with low grade, in other words, grade one, two, and three A follicular lymphoma. Um, and um, again, I think that the decision between the two really should be individualized based upon the patient's wishes and the physician's understanding of the side effect profile.